Hey everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas, day 24, it is Christmas Eve, we have actually made it, I have actually done Vlogmas, I mean I need to film this, edit it and get it uploaded today to actually say we've done it, but yeah, like, it was touch and go at points, I'm not gonna lie, but yeah, I made it, day 24. So as you can see, you're getting me with no makeup on today because I am, I was working from home this morning, by the way, I just want to say, I feel like I was really misled by like 90s like Christmas TV specials in which nobody does any work in their office, particularly in the run up to Christmas. Like, somebody emailed me yesterday, I kid you not, with the phrase about getting something done yesterday and this morning, this morning, because we were a half day today. Um, so that we can hit the ground running with the project in January and I was a bit like mate it, it's one o'clock on the 23rd of December like I'm finishing four hours today and I'm in for four and a half hours tomorrow like go away like I'm not starting anything new at this point and I'm, I'm sorry according to like what I have seen on TV Working in an office in the run up to Christmas is meant to be like, you know, throwing quality street at the person who sits at the desk across from you. Like, shut up. Nobody wants to hit the ground running in January based on something we've started today. Like, go away. But anyway, it is Christmas Eve. I have got my I Believe in Santa jumper on. And I want to go through the stuff that was left in the box that was not eyeshadow in box number two in yesterday's video which was my eyeshadow palette declutter so it's basically a box of highlights and then there's a couple of face palettes in there and yeah I just want to go through them and get them decluttered and get them off my inventory so that's what we're going to do today so let's get on into it So again, just to, I will timestamp down below where the actual like proper let's declutter chat starts. So since yesterday's video, which I actually filmed two days ago, most of my clothes are now in my wardrobe. But, so you know how I said I had a plan. So I planned out all of these drawers and then, uh, so basically I've got these shelves here. All the stuff that's on these shelves will not be so like, they're stuffed animals that will be going on my bed. That's my new Bella Freud jumper, which I love so dearly. And it has its own dust bag, so you know you get a bougie jumper when it has its own dust bag. So that will go into this knitwear drawer at some point, but it's just, it's staying there for now and I'm going to probably wear it tomorrow. Then I've got my advent calendar, which will end today. I've got an apron, which I'm going to put in the kitchen. And I've got a blanket, which lives on my bed. Then this is stationary stuff that will go in the bureau when the bureau arrives that's just makeup that i've brought home um from work that i originally took to dublin and i've just kind of never unpacked it from that that does need to get properly put away when this is done <laughs> and then i've got perfumes down there but so originally in the old wardrobe which was over on this side these shelves so this is the new bit these shelves were original this knitwear was on these shelves in the old wardrobe so i had the old the long hanging reel which i've still got i've got a longer long hanging reel now which is what i wanted there which has my dresses on it but in the old wardrobe i had like this is obviously a new reel but like the same equivalent sort of half hanging reel and then i had shelves underneath and i thought we were keeping the shelves underneath um and that was where my handbags lived so my handbags were on shelves that I now don't have. These shelves are now going to need to be handbags and shoes, whereas before they were kind of shoes and knitwear. I've not got the handbags and shoes back down yet and I've now got, other than my exercise mat up in the top, you know, being very active, I've got a much longer shelf here now because obviously I did have a shelf at the top of the old wardrobe, but because the door is on that side, this looks really small, like Ugh, I don't know the camera. I, I swear the camera makes things look smaller. I promise there was like a whole wardrobe there for a while and it had a shelf across the top But obviously you can see in the plaster work where the old wardrobe was cut off. So the shelf was much shorter So I do have like 
increase shelfage up there but that's not a very accessible shelf so I'm going to need to like really think through what I'm putting on these shelves to have access to but basically my knitwear is now in a drawer and the plan had not been for knitwear to be so the knitwear is actually taking up two drawers so I've got this drawer here which has jumpers in it and then I've got this drawer here which has cardigans and like I could definitely get a bit more in that drawer but I'm kind of it's one of those ones like I'd rather have less stuff than be trying to like maximize how much stuff I can put in a space like I really I really really learned last year how ex how much accessibility counts for how much I use something so I feel like when things start getting piled up like even like I do have a couple piled up there like I'll probably not wear the ones that are underneath as much because I won't see them like I'm quite a visual person so I do want to try and have less stuff but basically where all of this is going is to update you to say so I've now got two drawers that have stuff in them that it wasn't planned to be in them so the plan was that one of them would have my accessories and um, so like hats scarves gloves etc so I need to also find a space for that like in like sunglasses and stuff some accessories too but mainly hats and scarves and whatever and then the other drawer was meant to be for makeup which is not happening so what I've got is I've got this pull out shelf here and then I'm also going to get like a non pull out shelf over the top that will have basically like the acrylic storage that used to be on the windowsill that had like my base products and I'll have like my skincare and maybe like some perfumes and whatever on the shelf and then this will be the sort of backup storage so at the moment I've got lipsticks at the back there this is lip liners in this pouch liquid lipsticks and lip glosses they probably aren't going to get any smaller anytime soon then I've got this box of highlights some face palettes and then my blushes are in that my Teresa box there so they also need decluttered but what I'm hoping today is to maybe take down the side the side of this and then if I could get this to a point where basically like my blushes, highlights, etc. could all live here with my lip products, then have the shelf with my base products, and then if my eyeshadows need to be separate at the moment, then like, you know, so be it until I can work it down further. So that's the aim. So yeah, let's get into decluttering. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like sort of multi-purpose face palettes here. I think these are in the other category for the most part on my inventory. I definitely want to keep this one. It's really old. I probably shouldn't keep it. It's from a MAC and it was a MAC Rebecca Moses collaboration. So it's got Melba Blush and then it's got I want to say Orb, All That Glitters, Smoke Sepia and Showstopper. These are the contents. I don't ever really use the lipsticks but I really like the shadows in this blush and I would travel with this palette absolutely no problem so I definitely want to keep this one. I'm keeping this so this is in my 2022 project pan so I've obviously it's been in previous project pans and the top is nearly fully panned just this like sliver of dim light that will not die i'm hoping to knock this one out in my 2022 project pan so keeping the hourglass palette and then i got this for christmas last year this is one of dior face palettes i really really like this I've not actually used it all that much despite the fact that i do really really like it but again i would travel with this I, I did take this away when i went to edinburgh earlier this year so i definitely want to keep that one so that leaves me with these four if you watched my eyeshadow declutter you know i kind of started saying i'm ready to let go of this one so no surprises there i'm going to declutter that hourglass palette this shivonshi palette i really like in theory i think it's really well curated but i just never reach for it so I'm just gonna pass that on. This one I feel like I thought I'd already decluttered this one and then it sort of saved itself and I do like it but I don't reach for it very often and I think because it's these sort of triangles and it's quite difficult to use and like if I try and pick up the blush I need to use a really small brush and I end up with like these four products in it. It's not the most practical palette so I am just gonna get rid of that one. That's three keeping three going and then this one I have literally never used. I got this in a goodie bag. Like I kept it because it is it's such a beautiful palette and it seemed like such a good thing to get in the goodie bag but I've literally never used it so... I think I'm just going to pass that on as well. So yeah, getting rid of these four and keeping these three for the sort of face palette 
bit of the video onto highlights. So these are all my highlights. I think what I'll maybe do is try and group them into tones. I'll start with these four. So these are my sort of whites basically. So we've got MAC Lightscapade Dior 00. Well that says glowing pink but I think it looks. This is calling itself glowing pink but I feel like it's quite in comparison to some of the other pinks. I'll keep it here just now. We'll swatch them all. We'll see Becca Pearl which we all know and then this is a beautiful one. Chanel Christmas 2014. Very very old but very very beautiful highlight. So let's start by swatching. I think that's the simplest thing. Then Becca Pearl. I feel like in fairness because I'm so pale these are probably the ones that I should keep most of. Then we'll do MAC Lightscapade. These are actually all quite different so far aren't they? And then we'll do this glowing pink one at the end. So it's definitely in the, the pinkier camp. I feel like from looking at this I want to keep that. It's a collector's piece anyway I feel like but it's very very different. It's very sort of starkly silver. It's sort of quite specific look in a way. Then Becca Pearl is again quite stark but it's more white. It's not quite as glittery almost as the Chanel. I feel like MAC Lightscapade could go. I feel like that's not really doing very much and I'm also very aware I've got that Chantikai highlight which I don't have here because it's a Christmas present but I feel like that sits in this sort of family and I feel like it's quite as sort of natural and inner glowy as a highlight is, can be so I feel like it probably replaces this one and then I do really like that Dior one even though it's not really shouldn't maybe be in this colour family but we're looking at it as part of it. Yeah I'm going to get rid of MAC Lightscapade and keep the other three. Next up I'm moving on to my sort of pinks and peaches. I've got the MAC Archie's Girls collection. I think this is actually, yeah it's it just calls itself a face powder but it is um, definitely a highlight. It's very very cute. I very much enjoyed that collection. Benefit Dandelion which was in last year's Project Pan. Becca Rose Quartz and then Dior. This one is called 001. This one doesn't have a name. It's just 001. Right so let's swatch the four of them. See I feel like for all these and in my highlights because they are officially highlights. They're all slightly too dark for me to be highlights, like they're more blush toppers. Do you know what, I think I'm just gonna keep the two in the middle. That's the Becca Rose Quartz and then that's the Benefit one. Like obviously you can kind of shear them out a bit, but yeah, I feel like those two are the best for me generally. The MAC one is very pretty. I kind of want to keep the MAC one because I think it's cute, but I'm a bit like, if it wasn't in that packaging, would I be keeping it? Probably not. So yeah, I think I will keep these two and I'm going to get rid of those two. Okay, so next up I'm going to look at my palettes. And then I've got one kind of fun highlight colour here, which is from the Colourpop Midnight Masquerade. Um, so it's kind of lilac -y. Actually very, very pretty inner corner highlight. So I'm definitely keeping that. I'm going to keep this three highlights from Hourglass. I really, really like the way that these perform on the skin. But I think I'm ready to get rid of the ABH Moonchild palette. So I got this when ABH weren't really in the UK. I had to pay customs on it. And I feel like it cost me such a fortune because it cost whatever the palette cost. And then I think I had to pay like, like I remember the customs being like the same amount of money as the palette cost. Like I paid double to get it into the UK basically. But that also says how old this is. And I do think it's really fun, but I feel like now that I've got that purple one, if I wanted a sort of fun highlight color, I would go to that. So yeah, I feel like I'm I'm ready to get rid of Moonchild. And then I've also got this NYX palette and I feel like I do like it, but I don't think to use it enough. I feel like with a highlight, although I'm keeping that, I feel like I'm more inclined to be like, oh, I'll grab this single rather than a palette because you're just gonna pick one from the palette. Whereas like an eyeshadow palette, you might use more than one shade if that makes sense, but you're not necessarily going to do that with a highlight. So yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get rid of these two and keep these two, although I think this is on my inventory as three individual highlights in terms of the numbers, but that would mean in theory these are also all individual highlights so it's still it'll still look like I've decluttered way more than I've kept um, but it's two and two 
really, if we're being proper about it. So these two are going. And that brings me on to all the gold highlights that I've got. Okay, I love this one. I definitely want to keep this. I mean, look at that packaging. Is that not just the most beautiful? Horse and carriage, which is actually whiter than it is gold, so it should have probably been in the first category, but we're keeping it nonetheless. So that's the first one that's been swatched. Then I will do, I've got Natasha Denona. This is just 01 light. Then I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, so I'm not going to bother doing the sculpt shade, I'll just look at the highlight. I feel like I just want to keep all of these so far. Becca Moonstone, I love. I'm definitely, definitely keeping that one. Mary Lou Luminizer, I wanted this for so long before I eventually got it. I feel like these are all, re like, I don't know if the camera will make them look different, but I feel like they're all actually quite different in terms of levels of warmth and undertone. Let's do MAC Soft and Gentle next. That was one of my first ever highlights, and you can tell it's in, like, that old MAC packaging, so it's it's very old in my collection. I think I'm ready to part with that one. Then I've got NARS Hot Sand. That looks like it's maybe a bit dark for me as well in comparison to like the ones I think down here are just so much better for my skin tone. Yeah, I think we'll get rid of Hot Sand. I've got Hot Sand again, but in liquid format, and I really quite like this, even though the powder's clearly quite dark. Yeah, see the liquid's like much more, I suppose you can just control the liquid maybe as much as you like. Not that you can't control the powder, but yeah, I'm going to keep the liquid. And then I'm going to keep this Touche Eclat from YSL. I actually finished one of these last year, so I feel like I could finish this one this year and actually get it out of my collection by usage, which is how I would prefer to get it out. So not so successful with that one. We're keeping two, four six seven and getting rid of two but it's still two that it's still two that we are getting rid of so we will add that to the declutter pile so i'm keeping what i'm just going to count these as items at the moment but they may all be on my inventory if they're in palettes as separates as i said so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen highlights and then i'm getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you know what? That's a third. I felt like I was keeping quite a lot towards the end there, but if I'm keeping 14 and getting rid of seven, that is a third gone. So I'm quite happy with that. And then for my face palettes, I've got four going and three staying. So that is over half technically away. Not that I could have made it half and half because I couldn't have kept 0 0.5 of a palette, but we kept three and we're getting rid of four. So we're decluttering more than we're keeping. And that is the main takeaway from this. There we go, that is what getting rid of a third has made my box of highlights look like. So yeah, I am pleased with that reduction. It's going from being an overflowing box to a box that shuts no bother. So that's very exciting. So this is what that shelf is now looking like. So still only get this space left on it. Um, I would quite, I think like I'd maybe put these in pots rather than having them in bags but as I say I want the focus to be about getting having less stuff to put in the space not trying to get the majority of space out of the space if that makes any sense so yeah this is what that is looking like and I would like to get my blushes on this shelf as well so this box of stuff is next get them reduced down but that is a video for another day so let's update my highlight and other section of my inventory and see what today's declutter has resulted in. So these are the highlights I'm getting rid of. My gran has taken soft and gentle for her own so that is already missing from the pile but this plus soft and gentle are the highlights that I'm getting rid of. So as I said I did have the individual colours from the palettes listed as individual highlights on my inventory so it looks like I have decluttered 18 actual highlights. Terrifyingly, that's worth $228.62. That pile of stuff, plus one more highlight. That is so bad. Just to clarify as well, I've got a couple more. So what's left on my inventory for highlights is that I've got 21, which obviously isn't what we counted there. But I've got, if you look at the likes of these ones here, they are from palettes so I am a bit inconsistent I've got some things that are multi-use palettes are in my other category and then some of them I've split out and put 
like if there's a highlight it's in my highlights which in a way makes me more aware of it if it's that way rather than being in the other category but yeah I'm a little bit inconsistent in that way but just in case you're like that doesn't look like what we actually counted so I have left myself with 21 highlights worth $536.99 other category so these are the four things that I just decluttered so these are the four things we just decluttered four palettes and they were worth $259.04 like is that not the most terrifying thing in the world and then if I look at my inventory so my other category is a bit random I've got like a couple of glitters a couple of setting sprays and then some like multi-use palettes so it's a bit of a catch-all category but if you look there I have now taken that down to being nine items worth $305.49. The reduction there altogether is $487.66 off of my inventory and that is 22 items, 18 highlights and four palettes, 22 items. Terrifying, absolutely terrifying. But yeah, we're making strides in the right direction so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Have a lovely Christmas. I can't believe tomorrow is Christmas Day. I'm going to edit this, get it uploaded and then if anyone needs me I'm going to be watching It's a Wonderful Life and wrapping presents and eating all the cheese, thoroughly enjoying myself. So thank you so much for watching, thank you for watching Vlogmas, I can't believe this is the end of it um, but I will probably see you very very soon because we will be doing a blush declutter at least before the end of the year. So I will see you in that video, bye!